to my channel welcome to day three of our 12 days of vlogmas series i have millie and nora out on a little walk in our neighborhood this morning beautiful texas december weather oh my goodness you guys it's gonna be 72 today i'm in shorts are you walking the dog millie girl what do you see oh you see, do you see a santa say santa santa, santa. There's a Santa and a reindeer. This morning has been a little crazy. Today was Lila's first day at her new school here in the Houston area. She was so excited, nervous, but like my independent brave girl. Even though she was a little bit nervous, she was mostly excited for new things and new friends. So I'm sure she's gonna do great. I'm sure mom is probably having a harder time than she is, but you know, First day of kindergarten, round two for her. So I got up early and made that special apple pancake for her. It was absolutely delicious. And then Josh actually was able to drop her off on his way into the office, which is something new for us. He only is about 30 minutes from his office now, which is amazing. In Atlanta, he had a commute that was at minimum an hour. Nora just spotted Mickey Christmas. She loves Mickey. You love Mickey? Yes, we love Mickey. So Josh dropped her off on the way to work. I did a bunch of laundry and just picking up around the house this morning while Nora played. And now we're on a lovely little walk before we go home for lunch and nap and see what else I can get done before we go pick up Lila at three o'clock. What do you have? Are you eating lunch? What do you have? What is that? Cheese. Cheese. Mimi, Mimi, I know Mimi's hoping you drop some of that turkey. Aren't you Mills? All right, well, I'm back from our walk. Um, I'm just giving Nora some lunch and she's about to go down for a nap. I have more laundry to fold. I, I will say our new washer and dryer, they came with this house that we're renting. They are very efficient and they get loads done really quickly, which is nice when you're a mom of two littles and you feel like there's always a load of laundry to be done. If you ever hear chimes going off in the background of my videos, that's uh, one of Josh's clocks. My husband is such like a sweet old man on the inside. He loves trains and clocks and building things. We love, we love our old man, Josh. But his clock, um, it does have music for during the regular year too, but he's turned it to the holiday setting. So on the hour, we get lovely music. I also have one of my crystal vases there um, in that little nook. We're trying to figure out our house has a lot of like 
little archways and nooks and things that need something in them. So I put a vase there and I'm thinking about making a little like holiday floral arrangement decor, maybe something that's not fresh, um, just so I can reuse it next year. Maybe we'll do a floral arranging day, that'll be fun. So anyway, I gotta put something there. We got our holiday village up the other night. Josh put it together. Again, things he loves to do. He loves to put the village together. Um, I'll take it. Lila and I, on the other hand, decorated the tree the other day. This monstrosity beast of a tree. Can you guys believe it? We previously had like a six and a half foot or only seven foot, like slim little tree that we've used the last few years. I still cannot believe our luck. This monstrosity of a tree, it's a nine foot pre-lit tree, originally bought at Costco. We found it on Facebook Marketplace for only 200 bucks. It was gently used. The couple who sold it to us um, had only used it for two years and they just moved as well and it no longer fit in their home. So with the vaulted ceilings in our ranch now that we live in, when we first put up our six and a half foot tree, it looked so silly. It looked just like it had accidentally gotten shrunk in the dryer. Sorry, ignore the piles of laundry and in middle of folding laundry everywhere. But that being said, we didn't have quite enough ornaments to fill this guy up this year. So I just tried to space it out best I could. I had these oversized poinsettias. I think these are so gorgeous. I bought these at Hobby Lobby mm, years ago, um, probably like almost 10 years ago. Anyway, we were able to use those as some filler this year. Sorry guys, Nora's kind of whiny behind me, so I gotta wrap up this part but you know we don't have a topper yet i need to get something for up top and we also need a new tree skirt because we had a collar on our last tree and it's obviously too small from a six foot tree to a nine foot tree so we gotta get something new there but yeah i don't think i've actually showed you guys much of our house yet this is kind of like the family living room area we have some really great light big windows floor to ceiling nice high ceilings um just, we're still working on stuff. This is like technically a formal dining room, but I don't know that we'll use it as that. We kind of have my office set up in there right now. And then the last couple bins and boxes that we need to unpack. Coming over here is our kitchen area. It's a nice big open space. We have lots of countertops. This whole island has a countertop behind it um, and counters back there and cabinets. And then I have the coffee bar here. And our crabby baby here. Do you want more or are you ready for night night? Night night. So I'm gonna go put my crabby baby down for a nap. girl is down for her nap. I went ahead and prepped some produce that I bought at Costco the other day that I hadn't gotten around to yet. Um, mostly our fruit, our grapes, and our strawberries. I also, I don't think I filmed it, but I cut up the packages of chicken to put them in the freezer. They had been in the fridge. And I also divided up that um, bulk package of ground beef, the six pound package. I split it into six different Ziploc gallon bags, rolled them flat and got those in the freezer as well. So they're all prepped, ready to go. Now I am finally sitting down and having a little lunch myself, a delicious turkey sandwich, as well as some of those candy snap grapes that I bought at Costco and just prepped. They are so crunchy. These ones seriously taste like sour candy. These ones also make a fantastic, like zero point healthy sweet treat at the end of the night if you pop some into the freezer and they're nice and like frozen. I like to leave mine sit out of the freezer for like mm, three or four minutes after I pull them because then they kind of soften just a touch so they're not like rock hard, but they're nice and frosty in the middle. They're so good. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some lunch. I have yet another 
basket of laundry to fold. We're almost done, guys. My last load just finished in the dryer, and then laundry will be done for the week. But yeah, by then, it'll probably be time to go wake up Nora and go get Lila from school. Nora went down a little bit later than normal today, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to end up waking her up from her nap to go get Lila at three. So hopefully that doesn't mean she's crabby girl the rest of the day. But I was looking through everything I had in the fridge and pantry after my grocery haul the other day, and I think I'm going to make Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers tonight. This is something I haven't tried before. I didn't see a recipe for this anywhere. I mean, I'm sure there may be one out there and I might take a peek around and see what I see. But I was just thinking like, I've had a craving for like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. What twist could I do on it maybe to make it a little bit more WW friendly? And one of the things that always comes to mind is cutting out the bread, even though I love bread and I do still include it in my diet. Um, I was thinking, well, there's peppers in a Philly cheesesteak anyway. What if I put the pepper on the outside, stuff it with the meat and some cheese and onions and peppers on the inside? and then find a way to like bake it all together and toast off that outside of that pepper so it's like kind of charred like a grilled stuffed pepper maybe just because steamed stuffed peppers aren't usually my favorite with the texture we'll see let's let's give it a try a new recipe for dinner tonight look who's here <laughs> we just picked up a lyle from school how was school today good do you like your new teacher yes, yes and your new friends yes. and you guys had lots of fun today <laughs> oh Nora is very happy that Lila's home too. Say hi, Nora. Diggy, diggy, diggy. <laughs> anyway, we went and picked up Lila and now we stopped for a little treat. Lila, do you know where we are? Sonic. Sonic. Lila's never been here before and we have one right by our house and we did not have one anywhere near us in Georgia. So Lila's never had Sonic before. Um, we're not getting food because we're going to make dinner in a little bit when we get home, but I thought it is their happy hour time frame from two to four. So it's the perfect after school little treat. What is it you want, Lila? A strawberry slush, I think. I think that's something we can order. I haven't been to a Sonic in years. Hi there, can I do um, a small blue coconut slush and a large diet cherry limeade? Yes, that's it, please. Okay, so I got a large diet cherry limeade. These come out to one point for the large on the WW plan, so a super low point just like quick little treat it pretty much tastes just like cherry sprite if you've ever had it when that comes out around the holidays lila got a blue coconut slushy she seems to be enjoying it is it good she is she's nodding and saying thumbs up bubbles right now we are acorn hunting you guys are acorn hunting yeah let me see how many did you find wow that's a lot we have acorns <laughs> all over our yard from our big big trees oh my goodness hey let's not do that all over the back patio this is our backyard got a lot of work to do back here but it's a lot of good space for the kids to play did you find bubbles nora always loving the bubbles he's showing everyone how you can pop bubbles even the big kids like bubbles bubble bubbles <laughs> millie you like the bubbles I don't think they can see Millie on the camera. Nora, did you get bubbles? What are you doing, Trouble? Are you painting the patio? Nora, what are you doing? Collecting acorns in her cup. What are you doing? Um, Being you're burning off all your crazy energy from your slushy. Hey, look at me. Your mouth is blue. Say cheese. Blue teeth. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Putting acorns in your cup. Oh, and you're barking at all the squirrels in our tree. Where's your ball, Mills? Go get your ball. Where's your ball? There it is. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Mills. You want me to throw it? We got the kids fed and to bed. I'm now gonna make Josh and I some dinner. These are gonna be those like chicken version of a Philly cheesesteak, like a chicken Philly cheesesteak, but stuffed in a bell pepper. Sounds good, hope it turns out well. Here we go. Here's what I'm using today. I'm going to use two of these bell peppers to stuff our mixture into. The other two along with this half a yellow onion and like quarter red onion. I'm just using up what I had in the fridge. Um, I'm gonna saute these with some garlic. Once those are kind of cooked through, I'm gonna add in, this is a pack of boneless skinless chicken breasts and I'm going to take probably one of these, they're pretty large, um, and kind of cut it really thin shaved. 
and I'll toss that in. It'll cook up really fast. I'm gonna add half a block of third less fat cream cheese that I have here. And then once that whole mixture comes together, we'll stuff it in those peppers, top it with some mozzarella cheese. And then that's gonna bake through in the oven for a little bit just so everything gets warm. I am gonna try to, now that we have a gas burner um, in our kitchen on our stove, I'm gonna try and char the outside of these just a little bit like as if I was grilling them, just cause I like the texture of that more than like a steamed pepper. So we're gonna give that roll. Let's hope I don't burn down the kitchen. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time This is way more peppers and onions that I'm going to need just to make two stuffed bell peppers. I'd probably do this much if I was making like four to six of them, but I always say if I'm taking the time to cook tonight, I'm gonna double a recipe and have something so I can use it for tomorrow. So we're gonna have leftover fajita veggies. I'm gonna pull about half of that um, once it's cooked through with some garlic and just put it in a container to put in the fridge because on the side tonight, I'm making some cilantro lime rice. So that way I can put fajita veggies into a little burrito bowl for lunch tomorrow and so can Josh. Prep our chicken. Seasoning for the chicken. got a little char on them to be honest I think I was being a bit of a fraidy cat and it just didn't feel super safe so um, I only lightly did them I didn't like char them all the way if I had a grill that was set up ready to go I would definitely grill these outside before doing the stuffing um, but instead I just got a, that little bit of char on them on the stove top I'm gonna go ahead and stuff them with our mixture top them with a little bit of freshly shredded mozzarella cheese and then bake them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 so here is our chicken and pepper mix. I actually ended up taking out about half the cream cheese I put in there. You only need about a quarter of a brick for the amount of chicken and peppers we had, which after I took out half that sauteed mixture that we're gonna use for some um, fajita bowls tomorrow, um, that would have been basically like one chicken breast shredded, one green bell pepper, and maybe like a quarter to a third of an onion. So only two ounces of cream cheese would have been needed. If I had left the whole mix in, probably the four ounce half brick would have been good. What do you think, babe? Good. Good? Does it taste like a chicken Philly cheesesteak? For sure. But in a pepper.
Well, not too bad. The peppers took a little longer in the oven than 20 minutes. Um, probably if they were grilled or charred really well first, they wouldn't take quite as long. Ours ended up taking about more like 30 minutes at 375. I bumped up the heat too. So anyway, these turned out pretty good. We're excited to eat them. Josh is uh, home and over here. I'm gonna sit down with him. We're gonna have some dinner. We're watching House, if you can hear in the background. We needed a break from all the holiday movies. I don't wanna go through them too fast. I have like that always that fear that I'm gonna watch them all so fast that all of a sudden we're gonna be Christmas and I'm not gonna have any new ones to see and they'll all be rewatches. So anyway, that's our plan for tonight. And we're gonna call it. I gotta get this video starting to upload and edit so it can go up uh, for our next Vlogmas day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you hadn't yet. And until next time, bye.